Roland finally dropped a real update for the SP404. 16 velocity sensitive pads, a more detailed screen, more flexible bus effect routing, audio skip back, etc. And suddenly, almost all of those influencing beat makers on YouTube started to show off their devices to their audience. You know what it looks like? It looks like a public bribe to me. Anyway, I have to get me one to see what's the fuzz about it. Hey, welcome to this episode of Gas Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solutions, which are cheaper and better, in my opinion. Today, I want to show you that uh, if you want to make beats, you don't need this SP404 Mark II. All the tools you need are free. I've got my 404 Mark II for a few months, but I hardly use it. It's not like uh, it lacks of functions. It has a lot of cool new features. You can go check out other gas triggerers on YouTube if you like. But for me, the reason I don't use it that much is the pad retrigger issue. It bothers me a lot. As you can see, when I move my finger on pad 14, it retriggers a lot. But other pads are just fine. So when I finger drum a beat, it will randomly retrigger the sound. I can turn off the pad sensitive threshold to avoid it a little bit. But that means I have to smash the pads harder, which is not ideal to me. I don't want to send it back because reason one, you know, the supply shortage won't make sure I can get my replacement easily. Reason two, I can't make sure the replaced one doesn't have this issue. Because I just found out that other YouTubers like Accurate Beats are having the same issue. You can definitely hear the retrigger in his demo beats. I'll put his video link in the description down below. So I started to find other solutions for 404 workflow beat making. And I'm pretty confident for my result. My solution is really accessible as long as you have a Mac OS device. I know, Apple stuffs are expensive as hell, but you don't need the latest ones. Mine here is the MacBook Air 2014, which is only 2000 bucks nowadays. And it works pretty fine. You can just come with the ones you already have. So here's my free solution for each step of beat making. 1. Create digging and sampling. You might ask, hey, SP404 Mark II can sample anything. But if you want to sample sounds into a laptop, you need an audio interface, and, uh, and a cable, and, uh, and another device to play some music. That is not free, you crazy ass monkey. <laughs> yeah, of course, if you want to do it in a traditional way. But let me tell you that I hate cables and dongles. So I found a free tool which can route my audio output from my laptop directly into any recording software. And this tool is called Black Hole. It's totally free. All you need to do is just install it and have fun. I'll put the link in the description down below. You can go check it out. So with Black Hole installed, as long as you set your computer's output to Black Hole and also set input source to Black Hole in your recording app, like Koala Sampler, you can sample any sounds placed on your computer. Okay, let me put it straight. With this method, you can go create digging on YouTube and Spotify. And you can also sample virtual instrument playing like GarageBand for original composing. It's really versatile. Two, sample shopping and sequencing. Did I mention that uh, there is a free SP404 app in Mac App Store? Yeah, it's Koala Sampler. It's free on Mac. Just go grab it. If you're not familiar with Koala Sampler, you can go check out my previous videos. Its workflow is way smoother than SP404 OG. Sorry, beat performing. And now you might think, huh, this monkey does have some shit. But you can never replace the glorious SP404 effect with Koala Sampler. Checkmate, you dumb asshole. Well, Koala Sampler does have a few master effects to mess with. But to be honest, they are not the best in my opinion. So what do we do now? How can we manipulate our beats with a lot of dope effects like SP404 does? Wait, I have a lot of free plugins on my laptop. And they are all pretty good for beat making. But the question is, uh, can I pair them with Koala Sampler? The answer is yes. We use the same tool, Black Hole. Firstly, we need to set our computer output back to internal speaker and set Koala's input back to built-in microphone. Then we just send Koala Sampler's audio output into Black Hole. Then open GarageBand, create a new audio channel, and set the channel input to Black Hole. And now you can add whatever plugin you want to use in GarageBand, and it will sit in Koala's master channel. For example, 
I'm not satisfied with Koala's compressor, then now I can open up a better one in GarageBand for better sidechain result, and also be able to control master EQ by adding another EQ after compression. The possibility is just limitless. And you can also record your Koala beat performance into GarageBand with this method, even finish your beat mastering. And all of these tools are free. So, all the solutions I mentioned today for beat making are all achieved with free tools. Do you still think the SP404 Mark II is a no brainer must have? Okay, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment if you have any question. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more future tutorials. And you can also support my channel through Patreon. I do share some secret tips out there. I'm Michael, this is Gas Therapy, reminding you that the gear doesn't matter. See you in the next one. Peace.